Well, this one is about the Sense Monitor. Now, this company sent me these things, this thing, uh, about eight months ago, something like that. So, I've installed it. Now, here's the Sense Monitor. You can see it buried into all those wires in the panel because it's pretty tight in there. Uh, it's got the solar clamps on it, and I'm going to talk about those a little bit later. But that's how I've set it in the panel, and uh, I just kind of barely got it in there. Now, it should, it's supposed to find everything in your house, you know, determine what different loads are, and then when it finds them, it asks you if they're, if the, uh, if this is what you think it is, and you can check it out to find out if it is what it thinks it is, and then you can uh, go ahead and name it. And it'll tell you what each one of these things, these appliances, do. Well, how do, well does it work? I've had it for quite a while, so things have... Uh, pretty well settled down. It, you know, finds new devices now and then. Uh, it oftentimes finds devices that don't exist, I have to say that. But it does pretty good on a fair number of appliances. Uh, refrigerators, dryers, uh, washing machines. Most of the time the washing machine's right. Uh, you know, a water heater, uh, if it's electric, uh, even does a garage door opener, uh, hot tub, I've got a hot tub, and it, it has found those things. I won't say it's found everything, I won't say it actually does perfect on these things. Sometimes it gets them mixed up, uh, like sometimes it has problems with the, uh, dishwasher, uh, Although what it seems to do with the dishwasher is it doesn't know it's on because this thing lists, you know, when something turns on, it says it's on, and when it turns off, it says it's off. It doesn't do that too well with the dishwasher, but it seems to when you look at uh, the screen for the dishwasher, it actually does come up. You know, after it's shut off, after it's done its cycle, it does kind of figure out what it is. So it's it's doing okay. There's plenty of things you could complain about because there's a lot of things it doesn't doesn't catch. But I'm not sure that's all that important. Because what you're looking for is how much each appliance costs to operate, how much it's operating, things like that. Uh, and those that's going to tell you some things. I'm probably a little concerned about the accuracy. Now, I've got some numbers here that I'm going to show you on electric dryer. Okay, the sense monitor was 4557. The calculated value was 5143. Well, that's 11% difference between calculated and what the sense monitor showed. But then I also did it with the hot tub, and the sense said it was 29.82, and I calculated it 29.60. So that's only 1%. So it's not too bad that way. If you want something that does general calculations of how much energy you're using, every day, this thing actually does a pretty fair job. So I have the solar uh, clamps on this thing, and uh, I've got 14 solar panels I put up, and it's reading those, and it's reading those within probably about 50 watts of what the panels are putting out because I also have a uh, a website that I can go to and it tells me what the panels are putting out now. So uh, it's pretty close and it updates faster than the website does. 
So um, I would say it's about 10%, within 10%, maybe even a little less than that. So it's not bad, uh, but I'll probably have more to say on that. I'm going to have another one come out pretty soon talking about how the solar works and how well I think it does and just kind of the way the monitor sets it up. That's it on this one.